Hey, this is Mike Rohde. Happy World Sketchnote Day. Wanted to do something requested by my friend Antonio Itura. He asked me to do some sketching with my brush pen like I do in my daily log. So I thought I would focus on this page here and just show you what I do. Now I'll caveat this and say, I really don't know what I'm doing. I just do what feels right. So Heather Martinez is probably uh, um, crying in her, in her coffee as I do this, but hopefully she'll be okay with it. So um, I thought it would be interesting since Antonio asked for it, I would do Antonio. So I, I just sort of noticed that lately I've been slowing myself down. Uh, I, try, I saw a trick on someone doing lettering where they actually, if the angle of their hand didn't work right, they would actually stop and then come back and hit it from another angle. And I never thought about that before. I always assumed that everything had to be done in one shot. But as I'm learning more, like you have to think about how what you want to get out of it and then work back from that and think about your function so there's how I would do Antonio um, and a lot of it's just feeling and trying like sometimes I'll do things and they turn out okay and then there's times that I don't like them um, and then usually in the logbook I'll do days of the week so Monday I sort of like these I've sort of developed a, an M a lot of times they're not connected See, what I didn't like there is that the D and the A sort of got plugged up a little bit, but it's a brush stroke, so it's okay. Next time, I'll try and open that up a little more. Tuesday, I might do this. I really like snuggling things in, like next to the T. There, I did a little better on the A and the D. See how I've opened those up a little bit, so I tried to remember what was happening. Some letters are... I like better than others. Sometimes E's can be tricky. And then a lot of it is, so here's where you see I stopped rather than trying to keep going. I felt myself wiggling right there, so I stopped because now I can come back in here and finish it off when I've got more control. Sometimes I feel like you sort of get into a move where you're in a weird angle, and if I stay with it, I'll just end up messing it up. So I'm, I'm learning how to stop and come back to it. Here's another Thursday. One with a T Thursday. Sometimes I'll try to cross over. So the other thing that I'm playing with is, here I got a wiggly Y, right? But I kind of like that. So a lot of it has to do with like how, how much I'm pushing the brush, how much is it going in and how much is it up? Because if it's down deep, then you get that real bold. But if you can hold it, if you can sort of put your hand on the paper, you can sort of control that and maybe even come up and get these really fine lines. So that's the beauty of the brushes. You can go all the way from really thick to super fine. And it all has to do with your hand control. So I'll finish up with Friday. Here you'll see I actually didn't connect the I and the D, but I kept that tiny little space there. So every time I'm doing it, I'm just playing around and seeing what it feels like. So a lot of this, again, is feel for me. Uh, and then the, the thing I do up here, you'll see the log. Every day I'm, I'm sort of playing with what that's like, the log. I don't know why I, I've sort of been doing this, but this is sort of my page for writing or drawing or whatever I'm doing in my, in my daily plan bar. So I sort of always do the log a little bit differently every day. So that's brush lettering in a little tiny video for Antonio. I hope uh, you've enjoyed it for World Sketch Note Day. Thanks for watching.